optimization of park quality with active flow balance. How does active flow balance work? For multi-cavity molds, it is required to fill the cavities equally with melt. The reality is often different. Initially, after injection, the cavity filling looks unbalanced. By stopping the screw at the switchover to holding pressure, the cavities can get pressure compensation. The holding pressure is not applied until this happens. Now, let us have a look at this in the machine control. First of all, we navigate from the home screen to process and afterwards to process optimization. There we change the switch over to holding pressure position by clicking on the gray box underneath the holding pressure switch over criteria. A dialog box appears. We change the value from 20 to 18 and do a test shot. We repeat this procedure until the desired degree of filling is achieved. The optimization is initially done without holding pressure. As we can see here, the filling is clearly unbalanced. Now we will activate Active Flow Balance. Via Info, we arrive at Group Process to the page Injection Options 2. There we see Active Flow Balance on the top and activate the function by clicking on the checkbox. The parameters of Active Flow Balance are visible. The function Stop at Holding Pressure Level starts the holding pressure when the pressure inside the mold has reached the appropriate value. In the next line, you can set the duration, how long the screw will stop at the switch over point. If you would like to use stop at holding pressure level and change the duration manually, pay attention that the duration has to be set longer as the actual time for the pressure compensation. A too short duration will override the function. We remove the check mark to use the standard function. To start the optimization, we set the value duration to about 30% of the injection time. Click on the box Duration. A dialog box will appear. We set 0.1 seconds. Beneath you have the possibility to set the value for the ramp. For this, you have to click the symbol Ramp. A dialog box appears. By moving the scroll bar, we reduce the slope of the ramp. The set value is accepted directly. We close the dialog box and start the cycle with the Start button on the operator panel. Based on the results of the injection molded parts, we optimize by increasing the duration of the screw stop until a sufficient filling degree is achieved. To compensate the volume shrinkage of the melt after injection, we now set the needed holding pressure. For this, we click on the box Holding Profile. Pressure and time have to be set according to the requirements of the injection molded part. We restart the cycle again. After the optimization, all cavities are filled equally and the injection molded part fits the requirements.